Hi everyone, hopefully this will just be a quick update of the, my uh, reluctance motors that I am uh, modifying at this time and uh, just to show you that uh, I'm pretty well ready to put this back together. This is the rotor of this uh, reluctance motor here and it's the same identical motor right there uh, which I've painted flat black and made these uh, white uh, little sections here on uh, where the uh, sections, the core sections are that will be pulled in by the electromagnets there. So uh, that's all, to, this is actually going down like this here and uh, if we look at the bottom there I have put a, uh, some optical sensors there and that's so that this, uh, it's a three phase motor so there are three optical sensors there and that's so that uh, it's reflected on each one of these at the correct time and triggering the uh, correct coil. So uh, these uh, motors came with uh, there's like basically four coils that will be sh uh, energized uh, at together and um, there are three phases so you can see here this pink color and this uh, kind of copper color and then there's a black color and then it starts over copper, pink and black so it goes like this around the whole thing. You can see the pink is here, and the pink is there, and there, and here. So it just basically goes across like that and goes in three phases. And that's what the position is here of my optical sensors. One phase, second phase, third phase. So I guess you get the idea. And uh, this is all painted flat black inside here as well. And all that is so that there is no reflection of any moving parts that would cause a false triggering of these optos. So that's quite important. The other thing too, uh, like I said, I was saying that the uh, motor was wound in a different way where they had uh, uh, two of the coils in series and then uh, those two series sets of coils back in parallel. And what I want to do is actually run them all in uh, parallel. So all four coils in parallel, uh, dropping down the uh, basically the uh, time constant, the on time. So most likely this motor is going to be uh, revving at a higher RPM uh, than uh, was originally designed for. And that's fine. And I have access to all of the uh, coils here. All They're all coming out separately. So I can do different uh, tests and things like that. But like I say, what I'm going to do is just combine. So all the red ones here all the red leads will be the uh, pink coils and all the ye yellow one would be the uh, copper coils and the brown one would be the black coils. And this is my lead coming out here of uh, the optical sensors which goes on to this uh, chip here which will now uh, give the sequencing circuit uh, the ability, you know, each other correct on time and that's the powering here to this circuitry here and uh, that's it so this is pretty well close uh, ready to put together and I thought I would make this video before I put it together because you wouldn't appreciate what there is in there or quite understand what I'm doing and all of this is to uh, determine if uh, what what uh, work the uh, flyback collection will do so first I'll be doing load tests on this motor um, and collecting the uh, flyback energy in a capacitor and determining uh, the amount of uh, power that we can you know obtain uh, on the uh, collapsing fields of the uh, coils here while the motor is running and compare that to uh, just a regular standard motor and then the next thing would be to uh, utilize that flyback and attach it to this motor which this one here I'll have all the coils in series, uh, meaning that the um, inductance will be uh, four times uh, the amount of inductance in this one, and hopefully that uh, the shafts will be hooked up together, and uh, hopefully that will uh, assist the uh, primary motor, and that's the whole idea here of this experiment. So, uh, but before that will be done, all kinds of load tests will be done on this one to determine sufficiency. And basically just connecting a generator to the shaft will uh, determine all of that. So basically the amount of electricity uh, this consumes, just turning and then attaching a generator, seeing how much output it consumes and seeing how much back 
uh, how much uh, of that output is reflected back to this uh, prime mover and uh, that you can determine uh, the efficiency of the system so it would be all that kind of thing and I just thought I would update you for now just so that you know that I'm still working on this and this is just about to uh, come out thanks for watching bye now